A uh, big welcome back guys. Today I wanted to do a little follow-up video uh, from a video I uploaded last week on using uh, flatworm exit on my 30-gallon um, frag tank. So I had used it on the tank and it's uh, there was thousands and thousands of flatworms flying around everywhere. I invite you to watch it if you haven't already. I wanted to discuss with you kind of where things stand now and what were the advantages, disadvantages of using the flatworm exit. So firstly, I want to say the advantage was that I still have yet to see a flatworm in the tank. So it would appear that it definitely did work. Um, when you watch the video, you'll see it went crazy within a minute. It started and within a matter of few minutes, it looked like it was snowing flatworms. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't. Um, the next thing I wanted to mention though was kind of a, that was the, that was the good part. Um, then we're going to move on to the bad part, unfortunately, which was a lot of color loss in corals. Um, this is starting to brighten up, but you can see I got some cyanobacteria or cyano. I'm not really sure why, where that's coming from. Hopefully a few more water changes will take care of that. Um, but the color had really, really started going away on a lot of my corals and I, I'm going to have to attribute it to something with the uh, flatworm exit because that's, that's exactly when it happened. It was the next morning. Um, and then a few things still are a little bit deteriorated, like that's right there. Um, uh, just a couple of things, but I, I would say it was still well worth it. Um, other things are bouncing back quite nicely, so if you can, if I can... Get that to focus there that's a really nice coral i just got like two weeks ago or so um actually you know what i got it christmas uh christmas eve that's when i got it but um so everything else i got a few frags over here and i've actually got a new frag rack that will be going in um but so that's uh pretty much the update guys i know i probably went a little off topic there from the uh from the flatworm exit but there wasn't really too much bad that occurred, so I just figured I would share that with you. That, you know, if you have a problem, you can deal with it with that, and then uh, be sure to follow it up with the water change. So I would like to say that on the 30-gallon here, the day I did the, uh, the treatment, I did a 15-gallon water change, and then yesterday I did another 10 gallons. So, you know, and then I will probably within a couple days do another 10, just because... And I've added a little GFO into my bio wheel. I've shut everything off just to make it a little quieter for the video. Um, but uh, and we can get a nice uh, bird's eye view because I really like doing that. The corals, the colors really pop more from above rather than through the glass. I know it's kind of a pain with the lights there. But I will be moving some of this to my main display because I had no intentions of fragging some certain things. So, such as my elegance coral. That was just in here for a little healing. It wasn't doing well before, but um, I, I think I'm ready to move it back. My uh, Sunset Montipora, right there, still lacking a lot of color. The polyps are good and bright, but the actual orange portion is uh, definitely lacking color. But other things are uh, starting to come around. So uh, that's it, guys. Just a real quick video on that. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and please give me a like on this video.